Right, so this is just a tip because I actually am a really good aloe plant mum, even though I burnt, I burnt one of our arms off, but that, that only happened once. You can just leave them, like, she's okay. They don't actually need that much water. As long as you've got a nice pot for them, like, they'll just be fine. But the weirdest thing about aloe plants is I feel like I can tell when she's not happy. Like, I just know. So one time I put her outside and, like, within a couple of hours she started turning all brown and weird. And I was like, oh, she doesn't like that. And so just, you know, figure out what your aloe plant wants. She just wants to be left alone, you know. Just not have her arms burnt off. I think that's what she would like. And just water, like, once every two weeks or once a week. Just whenever, like, I think, oh, Sarah might be thirsty. Is that the skinny pen? I know a couple of people have used that and it's worked, but I don't know enough about it to give, like, a proper opinion. But what I will say is I don't really care as long as the people that it's intended for can get it easily. Um, because with fully grown adults, you cannot tell people what to do with their own life. As long as they've got the knowledge and the side effects, like, I'm not going to be rioting outside someone's door because they want to use a skinny pen. Do you know what I mean? I personally wouldn't do it, even though sometimes I get a raging, bloating, big fat belly that pisses me off. I couldn't inject myself with something every week, so it just wouldn't be an option for me. Uh, but yeah, I think it's like a diabetic medication, so as long as people that need it can get it, then everyone else, you know, we do loads of things that we shouldn't do as human beings. So, 